Hello friends, I have prepared for you my first lesson from the Anticures for the beginner. We will try to make our first projects with LEDs. Let's get started! Friends, if you both are the Uno Uno, then it looks like this. This is a pretty earthful thing and it was much cheaper to use the Chinese conifer. In this tutorial I will be using Chinese Uno. In the first step we will use digital outputs, later in the next lesson we will use uh, both analog inputs and outputs. Each Arduino board is a power source for small projects. The plus of the power supply is indicated by 5 volts and the minus is indicated by GNG ground. For Chinese Uno we use a micro USB connector. To create your projects in addition to the Arduino board and the programming cord, you will need a breadboard. It is difficult to explain what each of these holes means. For this reason, you repeat after me how I will do it. You will need these wires. As a rule, they are sold together with Arduino starter kits. The first project will require an NGB. LED are two simple LEDs. In addition to the LEDs, two resistors which are resistance of at least 100 ohms are required. If you want to work with Arduino, you additionally need to have this device which you, uh, which is called uh, a multimeter. With the help of a multimeter you can check the performance of LEDs and wires. I also checked the resistance of the resistor. Well friends, you will gradually move on to the software. It's important to know, before downloading the software, connect your Arduino to your computer.
So we move on to downloading the software. In any search program, you just type download Arduino ID. Choose the operating system that suits you and download the program. I chose Zip Archive for Windows. Unpack the archive and try to run the program. If you did everything correctly, then you will have such a working window which Arduino ID. In the working window you already have a part of the program. Void setup and void lab. You can always check the correctness of this program if you click on the check mark in the upper left corner of the working window. If there are no errors, then at the bottom you will have information about your program. After that the program can be loaded into the Arduino microcontroller. I tried to upload and immediately got an error. The fact is that I did not specify the Arduino Uno board. Look at the button. Right, it said that I am using the Arduino Leonardo board and I used the Arduino Uno board. There may be more problems with Chinas uh, Unos if you use them. One of such problems is that when you connect Arduino, your computer does not see Arduino Uno. You must install a dedicated serial drivers. You can download them from the internet. Driver's name is uh, CH340. If you did everything correctly, then you can download this simple program without any problems. Let's start building our first project. Look at the diagram and try to repeat after me. Before assembling the circuit, let's test the LEDs. Remember that LEDs only pass current in one direction from plus to minus. With the help of our multimeter, it is a very convenient to find out where the plus and minus of the LED are. In scientific language this is called the anode and cathode. To assemble this circuit just repeat after me.
Arduino digital outputs are programmed uh, to supply positive voltage. programming. And this is a pretty tricky process for beginners. In C++ we can neatly divide our program code into three parts. Step 1 – point to device. Step 2 – initiate device. And step 3 – create a program loop. So it starts to register int let1 and uh, let2, which means that we will use the digital outputs for our Arduino number 10 and 11. We configure this digital outputs for the output voltage. In the body of the program loop we will hit high or low level for our digital outputs. High means there is voltage and low means there is no voltage. I say a small time delay using the command delay. Let's load this program into Arduino and see what we get. 
I made a mistake on purpose to show you how the compiler reacts. Before you load your program, do not forget to specify the virtual port number. See how it works. Let's try to change the program code and change the delay time. Let's change the program and write the analog writing function. Write down an integer from 0 to 255. See how the brightness of LED changes. brightness yourself and activate the third LED color. Friends, this concludes our first lesson. I wish you success in the implementation of your projects. Write comments and subscribe to my channel. In the next lesson we will try to make smart lighting. Sincerely, Yuri Kovalev.